Without training, they lacked knowledge. Without knowledge, they lacked confidence. Without confidence, they lacked victory. I came, I saw, I conquered. If you must break the law, do it to seize power, in all other cases observe it. In the end, it is impossible not to become what others believe you are. The greatest enemy will hide in the last place you would ever look. Experience is the teacher of all things. A coward dies a thousand deaths, the gallant never taste of death but once. If I fail it is only because I have too much pride and ambition. As a rule, what is out of sight disturbs men's minds more seriously than what they see. Many of you wished me dead, many of you still do, but I hold no grudges and seek no revenge. I demand only this, that you join with me in building a new Rome, a Rome that offers justice, peace and land to all its citizens, not just the privileged few. Support me in this task, and old divisions will be forgotten. Oppose me, and Rome will not forgive you a second time. Senators, the war is over. Men in general are quick to believe that which they wish to be true. And when the drums of war have reached a fever pitch and the blood boils with hate and the mind is closed, the leader will have no need in seizing the rights of the citizenry. Rather, the citizenry infused with fear and blinded by patriotism, will offer up all of their rights unto the leader and do it gladly so. It is better to create than to learn. Creating is the essence of life. The difference between a republic and an empire is the loyalty of one's army. All bad precedents begin as justifiable measures. It is better to suffer once than to be in perpetual apprehension. To win by strategy is no less the role of a general than to win by arms. It is easier to find men who will volunteer to die, than to find those who are willing to endure pain with patience. The die has been cast. What we wish, we readily believe, and what we ourselves think, we imagine others think also. I love the name of honor, more than I fear death. He conquers twice, who shows mercy to the conquered. No music is so charming to my ear as the requests of my friends, and the supplications of those in want of my assistance. Beer, a high and mighty liquor. Avoid an unusual and unfamiliar word just as you would a reef. Go on, my friend, and fear nothing, you carry Caesar and his fortune in your boat. It is not these well-fed long-haired men that I fear, but the pale and the hungry looking. Wine and other luxuries have a tendency to enervate the mind and make men less brave in battle. It is the right of war for conquerors to treat those whom they have conquered according to their pleasure. Arms and laws do not flourish together. I love treason but hate a traitor. Our men must win or die. Pompey's men have other options. In war, events of importance are the result of trivial causes. As a rule, men worry more about what they can't see than about what they can. I had been first in a village than second at Rome. Caesar's wife must be above suspicion. Cowards die many times before their actual deaths. Which death is preferably to every other, though unexpected? No one is so brave that he is not disturbed by something unexpected. 
set on air in one eye and death in the other, and I will look on both indifferently. I love their name of honor more than I fear death. Men's minds tend to fear more keenly those things that are absent. It's only hubris if I fail. Men willingly believe what they wish. In extreme danger fear feels no pity. War gives the right to the conquerors to impose any condition they please upon the vanquished. It is the custom of the immortal gods to grant temporary prosperity and a fairly long period of impunity to those whom they plan to punish for their crimes, so that they may feel it all the more keenly as a result of the change in their fortunes. The Celts were fearless warriors because they wished to inculcate this as one of their leading tenets, that souls do not become extinct, but pass after death from one body to another. You also, O oh son Brutus. The things that we want we willingly believe, and the things that we think we expect everyone else to think. As a result of a general defect of nature, we are either more confident or more fearful of unusual and unknown things. Every woman's man, and every man's woman. I would rather be the first man in a barbarian village than the second man in Rome. I am going to Spain to fight an army without a general, and thence to the east to fight a general without an army. People readily believe what they want to believe. I have lived long enough both in years and in accomplishments. Let me have men about me that are fat, sleek-headed men, and such as sleep o' nights, yond Cassius has a lean and hungry look, he thinks too much, such men are dangerous. Fortune, which has a great deal of power in other matters but especially in war, can bring about great changes in a situation through very slight forces. I believe that the members of my family must be as free from suspicion as from actual crime. Men gladly believe what they wish. In war, important events result from trivial causes. Men freely believe that which they desire. In war trivial causes produce momentous events. Men are always willing to believe what they wish. I wished my wife to be not so much as suspected. Common traditional saying, Caesar's wife must be above suspicion. All Gaul is divided into three parts. I wished my wife to be not so much as suspected. Men willingly believe when they want to. Yond Cassius has a lean and hungry look. After divorce of Pompey in 62 BC I feel that members of my family should never be suspected of breaking the law. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.